Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today's video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip the tally. And all these wonderful people whose name is scrolling right here. So thank you guys for supporting the channel and making videos like this possible. If you want to support the channel, go to patreon.com backslash sip the tally and join the Patreon. Now, today's video is going to talk about Mike McDonald and all the tricky little ways he schemes up the defensive lineman and ways to get guys free to get after the quarterback. Um, when Mike was brought in, I thought it was nepotism at his finest. I didn't think he was ready. And after the Dolphins game last year, the debacle where they ran amok against our defense, I didn't think he was ready. But after that game, he learned. He was a rookie. With every game last year, he got better and better. And toward the back half of the year, Mike was in his bag. He started off this season even better than last year. And the way he's scheming guys up to get free, it is an actual joy to watch. If you pay attention to the trenches, and I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people just follow the ball. But if you pay attention to the trenches and the way guys get free, it's a beautiful thing to watch. And for those that don't pay attention to it, I got a couple of plays here, and I'm going to show them to you so you can kind of see what Mike is doing to free guys up to give them a chance to get to the quarterback. And sometimes they're untouched. Roll the intro. All right, let's start with this first play right here. And again, like I said, Mike McDonald is doing a great job of simulating pressures and playing games with the defensive front and making the O-line confused. On this one, you're going to get um, Brent Urban. He's going to attack the outside shoulder of his initial guy, and he's going to work his way to the tackle, which is going to allow Clowney to attack the tackle and then come off of Urban's pick. And it's kind of, you know, it's, it's like basketball. It's like a pick and roll, really. And Clowney's going to be sky-free. Now, Clowney don't finish, but he's going to be sky-free. Look at Urban attack the outside, and then he's going to attack the outside shoulder, 71, right there. And Clowney, you know, just comes right off of it. And the thing is, 71, he, he, he just falls in love with Urban and does not see the setup. He just falls in love with the, with the attack of Urban and does not see the setup. And the Clowney is scot-free now. Scot-free. Just got to finish. Just got to finish. And I won't dare say he almost got a sack and allow him to cut my head off like he cut Marlon's head off on that IG Live. I won't dare say he almost had a sack. Let's just say he missed an opportunity to get a sack in the stat category. Let's just state it like that. Let's go to this next one. Again. Oh, no, it's the same play. Same play, just a different view. I'm sorry. Same play, a different view. Again, missed an opportunity to put a stat, a sack in the stat category. Won't dare say he almost had a sack. Now, this is the next one. And on this one, he's been doing a great job of just confusing O linemen. This one with Van Noy. Again, this is Van Noy's first uh, game, and he was a, he got in there and got some pressures and whatnot. Didn't get a sack, but contributed a lot more than somebody named that star with O. And you pick whoever you think I'm talking about. <laughs> so on this one, Matter BK is going to go straight at 75, but while he's attacking the outside shoulder of 75, he's going to go through the inside shoulder of 71. That's going to allow Van Noy to press up the outside shoulder of 71 and dip right behind Matter BK and come through scot free. Similar to what Clowney did. Watch. And look at Matter BK. And he's going to go straight up the field. And look at this, the pick. Fenoa comes scot free, untouched, untouched, and gets a pressure. Now they complete it. They complete it. And uh, Marlette gets a tackle. But again, Fenoa is scot free with a chance to get a, well, not a chance. He did get a QB pressure. That was a QB pressure. Had he held it a little longer, maybe he got a sack or whatnot. But again, Mike McDonald's getting guys free. Look, Van Noy is untouched. Untouched. And for the people that only watch the ball, that's that's what, as a defensive coordinator, that's, coordinator, that's what you want. You're getting guys free. Let's go to the next one. All 
Now on this one, it's going to look like it's empty set, so it's going to look like you're going to get an all-out blitz. You look like you're getting all gaps covered. You get Van with C gap, Queen shooting that B, that left B. Uh, Matabike going to cross the face and shoot A that way. Uh, I think that's Michael Pierce going to have that right A. Roquan is stunting toward the right side B. And I think that's Clowney with the outside right C gap. That's what it looks like DTR is getting. But he's not. He's not getting that. They pump faking. They pump faking and confuse the O-lineman. Because that's what it looks like uh, post-snap too. But that's not what he's getting. Michael Pierce is going to drop his big butt out of there. And I love when he drops out of there because he walls with intent. He walls with intent. Him and Roquan going to drop out. Now, because they initially showed that, the offense is accounting for all six of those guys coming. They are. But when they drop out, it's too late for them to adjust. It's too late for them to adjust. And on this left side, they didn't make an adjustment. So now on this left side, there's a two for one. And as a rule, number 75 right here, uh, Dewan Jones is a rookie. As a rule, he has to take the innermost guy. And right here, the innermost guy is Pat Queen, which leaves Calvin Noy open, free. He's a free runner. And look who makes the play. He bats the ball down because of the confusion Mike McDonough created with the simulated pressure. And we got one more play, which I think, which I love, which I think is the best one. Look at PQ. PQ sacrificing himself for Roquan, and it causes the incomplete pass. But let's look at it from our defensive end, uh, end zone to get a better look at it. PQ is going to attack 75. Roquan is going to be engaged. He's going to be engaged, and PQ is going to knock him off, and then Roquan is just going to come right up under PQ. The, now, see the back? The back actually has PQ. That's his responsibility. So the back shows up to block PQ. But PQ's responsibility is to take 75 away from Roquan. And Roquan's just going to go underneath it. Bam. Look at the perfect timing. And now, look at Roquan. A clear lane to the quarterback. A clear lane to the quarterback. And at this point, DTR is just getting rid of it. He's just praying it's not caught by somebody in white. Mike McDonough is doing an amazing job. When I say an amazing job of having just simulating pressures and confusing offensive linemen and doing different things to get guys free. So, again, last year he was a rookie, and with each passing game he got better. From that Miami game on, he did different things to get different guys in there. And even with the cornerbacks not being very good last year and having guys in and out of that lineup, and even this year, our defense hasn't haven't missed a beat. So salute to you, uh, McDonald, for doing your thing and uh, keeping the defense rolling and you know just giving offensive lines hell. So if you like this kind of content and you have not subscribed or have not liked the video, like the video. And if you have not subscribed again, hit the subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified. And again, 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 salute to the Patreons. I'm going to scroll these names over one of my shoulders again. They made this video possible. And if you're not a Patreon, please consider uh, becoming a Patreon by going over to Patreon.com and subscribing. And be I'm sorry, not subscribing. Join. That's all I got for you. See you next time. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Got Thursday night football tonight, y'all. Peace.